Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, uh, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video, okay? So apparently, y'all, Doja Cat has been talking and discussing about her upcoming album on Twitter, and she's basically been giving a little bit of hints and information about what's going on with that album, okay? Let's go ahead and get into what she said, okay? Now, she says there are 10 tracks, okay, plus five extra so i don't know what the fuck that means um uh, maybe it's for the deluxe but if she is doing 10 um songs for an album that's kind of short if you ask me it's kind of short okay but these names on the album just rub me the wrong way okay as you all know the album is called hell mouth okay and she has a song on it called wet vagina rough so i don't know what the hell was going on in that album i hope the album does not you know f up her catalog and it doesn't f up the way she um is currently going in her career because you just don't you just don't want to ruin it you don't want to ruin it, okay you don't want to ruin it all right people already have their speculations about her right now but i'm me personally i'm excited for the album yes i am because i love me some doja cat but I just really don't want to be disappointed with this next album, y'all. I really don't want to be disappointed. I really don't want to be let down, okay? So, I'm having my fingers crossed currently. Are you excited? Are you ready for this next album? Planning Her was a bop, so I'm pretty sure Hellmouth should be okay, at least. Um, but yes, y'all, leave your opinions down below. Let's move on to this next topic, okay? Okay, it seems like Cardi B thinks that she has been opening doors when it comes to um, rapping, her fashion, her music videos, okay? Cardi B says that she has opened the doors for rappers, all right? Let's get into this bullshit, okay? Nowadays, sometimes I still sometimes feel like the underdog and you can't, you, Got this I know that I'm pretty successful, but every other day I Got do feel like the underdog because every other day people still try to deny my greatness which you know what i'm saying people try to deny my influence people try to deny the doors that i open but i don't give a fuck what they try and deny because at the end of the day my influence is on these bitches you know what i'm saying my influence is on these bitches videos on these bitches fashions on these bitches aesthetics on the way these bitches talk on these bitches characters you know what i'm saying like it, you, it's, you know what I'm saying? People could. It's undeniable. <laughs> not, they deny it, but I see it. So, yeah. um, that's how I be feeling. The aggression that I have on Get Up, and that's how I still. Cardi, Belkalese, who have you influenced, okay? Um, you have one album in. You haven't even been doing. We haven't seen a clip of you writing a single song. Okay, we haven't seen a clip of you in a pen in a room together. The only thing that she's opened the doors for is mediocrity. Okay, being mediocre. Okay, being subpar. That's what she's opened the doors for. She's opened the doors for people to come in the game and have no skill and just have a BBL and just, you know, have it all be about aesthetics and looks. That is what she has opened the doors for. She has not opened the doors for any talent anything to be inspired by because she doesn't have any talent herself okay um and i just genuinely feel like she's delusional she's living in a delusional fantasy fairy tale okay her ass might as well be up there with cinderella all right she needs to be with the snow white crew okay because she definitely looks like the old witch from snow white okay um now in my opinion when it comes to her saying that she is the underdog, I would have to agree, okay? I'm glad that she knows she's the underdog, but I hope she doesn't think that she's the underdog um, that has all this crazy talent and it's, it's, it's just slept on. Because you're not slept on. You're not you're not an underdog for a reason now, okay? You're an underdog because that's where you deserve to be at, okay? Not because you deserve to be, oh my gosh, I'm an underdog and I'm slept on. Woo -woo -woo -woo. You're not talented. And the only album you have out is one album, okay? It's called Invasion of Floppery, um, Invasion of Privacy, my bad. And, you know, the songs on there are decent. But other than that album, she, is, like, nothing else, like, nothing is sticking for her. When I see her name on a writing credit alone, then maybe I'll pay her some attention and give her the proper acknowledgement. But until then, this bitch gets no respect from me. Let's move on to this next topic. 
Okay, y'all. So SZA, I'm like, y'all, okay. I was seeing people dragging SZA for not having enough show dates, okay? So SZA recently has been on tour with the SOS World Tour. Um, and she was touring in, um, I think, California. She went to Atlanta, you know, New York. You know, she went to the main cities of America. Um, and she was touring there, okay? And her tour was sold out everywhere, okay? Every single show was sold out in the entire country. Um, and the thing about it is, like I just said, she was being bash for not having enough shows but let's get into how much she made all right SZA has generated over 34.5 million dollars okay from just 18 dates alone and she sold over 238,000 tickets okay SZA is making over um eight figures off of a tour with only 18 shows that's crazy that is insane to me but I'm not going to lie. I did not think she was going to make all this money. I did not think she was going to do all this, okay? I had no idea SZA's career was going to take this turning point. It took a big turning point. Ever since this new album came out, she's just been the new it girl on the scene, okay? She's been the new it girl, um, and um, I love this for her. I do love this for her. Hopefully, she does do some other legs of the tour so she's able to expand her bag and get more of that coin because um, only having $38.5 million, for your entire tour if that's all she's gonna make from this tour realistically that's that's low because you know hey typically people make over 100 million plus from their entire tour including the other co countries so hopefully she does other countries and gets that more of a bag but you know she says she's taking a break due to her mental health and anxiety so i understand that i understand that okay so how do y'all feel about that let me know your opinion down below in the comment section and we can go ahead and talk about that okay but until then let's move on to this next topic all right Okay, y'all, so it seems like Drake has recently dropped a new song. It's called Search and Rescue, okay? Now, in my opinion, when it comes to this new song Drake has released, I feel like I've heard this before, and I really feel like Drake is at a point in his career where he's no longer evolving. It just sounds like all his music sounds the same. Um, Search and Rescue, it just sounds like a song I've heard before, like I just said, and it doesn't really stick out to me. Um, but, you know, hey, maybe Drake is going to be... Uh, retiring soon because you know he talked about retiring soon okay and i feel like that's his best bet or at least just take a break okay because you know he doesn't really take breaks when it comes to releasing music he needs to take about a break for a year or two and then come back so maybe he can find a new sound because honestly it's just not working for me and no i'm not a drake hater okay i'm about to be at that concert twice okay but i'm just saying like his music is just not evolving it's the same shit back to back to back the same thing the same subject matter i miss old non drake i miss 2010 drake i miss drake when he really was in his other bag but he got bullied for that era so at this point i don't know okay but have you all tuned into the new drake song search and rescue and let me know your opinions on it down below in the comment section and we can go ahead and talk about that okay but until then let's move on to this next topic child it seems like corla ray is currently being body shamed okay people are telling her that she needs to eat more okay now this to me is very triggering so if you don't like to hear about this stuff go ahead and skip to the next part of the video but this is a bit concerning okay now you know cola ray is a skinny girl um but she's not skinny to the point where she looks like she's you know in any type of you know condition um uh, but in my opinion people are just out of line for um saying these type of things okay but she did cloud back and here's what she had to say so cola ray responds and here's what she has to say okay she says people be like you need to eat only thing i'm eating is this mother can hit actually i'm ready to eat another one ready for more music okay so she's basically clapping back and saying you know what i got a hit out right now um f you i got more music coming out woo -woo -woo -woo. uh girl what hit you have out right now what hit do you have out okay let's be real let's be real cola ray let's be real all right um and she also says um i'm skinny with good p i'm skinny and talented she's skinny and proud okay um, okay, I see you, Cola Ray. Now, these comments of people saying that it's just out of line. They're out of line for that. Um, if you're too big, you're just, oh my gosh, it's a, it's a problem. If you're too skinny, oh my gosh, it's a problem. It's just a lot of um, rah rah. And people should honestly just mind their business and let people be fine, okay? If they're not in any health issues or anything like that, mind your damn business, okay? But yes, y'all, that's all I have for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell so you can get an alert every time a new video is posted. And I will see you in the next video. Be safe.